Martha and I'm here with this week's angel message. So I'd like you to place one or both of your hands over your heart. Invite your guides and angels to connect with you through your heart and invite them to guide you to either message one, two or three, a message that comes from their heart to yours. All right, you ready? Okay. So now these are Archangel Michael cards, they're from Joy and Virtue of course, and the first, these are prayers, so they're prayer cards. So the first message is, prayer will help this situation, of course prayer helps many situations, right? And it says, dear God and Archangel Michael and anyone else to whom you you pray, such as Jesus or, or to your angels, I always, I always pray to the Great Spirit. So. I ask for your divine intervention and then you describe a situation. I welcome your help and trust and follow your guidance with gratitude and grace. I need a miracle and ask that you send one to me and this situation quickly. Thank you and Amen. Amen means yes, really. And um, so it is, so be it. So when I look at this, I see this beautiful turquoise that's here with the angel and then all this kind of blue and green that's coming in. And it's saying prayer will help the situation. Blue and green are colors of the heart. So it's about healing your heart. It's about communicating from your heart. So even though you may not be able to think of a situation that you need healing right now, Maybe it's just that your heart needs to be healed. Maybe there's something that is right there that your angels and guides are saying, okay, so let's just move this out the way, shall we? And then everything else in your life can, can shift, can change, can move in the direction that you need it to move in. That turquoise vibration is often about healing rejection, about healing the pain uh, of feeling abandoned, of feeling like you're not good enough, or, or feeling like you've been left behind. So that turquoise vibration, that turquoise energy, it comes between the heart and the throat. So there's a sense in here of just allowing yourself to be accepted by others, accepting yourself, loving yourself, knowing that of course you're good enough, of, you're totally good enough, you're always going to be good enough. And your angels want you to know that as well. They're asking you to pray, to send an intention, to send positive words up to the heavens of whatever it is that you need help with. It doesn't have to be something hugely negative, of course. It can be something really, really positive. You just you need help with reading a book or, or you need help with creating some time for something, you know, time for yourself. So whatever that is, your angels are waiting for you to ask them and they are there to help you. That's the turquoise vibration as well, it's communication. So now the second card is energy healing work. Isn't this a beautiful card? Just look at that, there's all this energy that's coming out from this angel, coming down here everywhere. Lots of sparkly, lovely angel energy. So this says, thank you for sending healing energy to me and through me, for my own blessings and for all those around me. Thank you for connecting me to loving and high integrity healers and teachers of energy healing modalities. Now, this is important because it's saying, thank you for sending healing energy to me and through me. Because, you know, when you are a healer, when you're healing yourself, we're all healers, if you're able to give love, you are a healer, then it's saying that whatever you do for yourself, however you help yourself, it's going to have a domino effect on everybody around you. People are going to receive that healing. Even if they, they, you don't realize it, even if it doesn't look like they're receiving it, they are receiving it. On some level, they're getting it. They're getting that vibration. They're getting that light. They're getting that love. So I feel with this that it's saying that if there's something in your life or someone in your life that you're having a little bit of difficulty with, then focus on yourself. Don't focus on them. Focus on yourself because you start with yourself first. You give healing to yourself first, right? And there's always that thing of if you're in an airplane and something happens, you're always told not to put oxygen masks on the other person. You put it on yourself 
first and then you can help others. So this is about that healing work, that energy work, healer, heal thyself first and then it will have a domino effect on others. Everybody will gain from you healing yourself. Everybody will benefit from that. And one last thing with this, I'm feeling that uh, there's a sense of needing to invite the angels to come in and be in your energy field so that you can, I can feel it, so that you can light up, so that your energy field can light up, so you can be a conduit for their vibration and their light and their love and their healing. And you will feel your own heart opening up with that as well. Oh, I love that. Anesthesia for all. <laughs> this is coming through me. This is not something that's coming from me. I'm listening to what's being told, what's being been said. All right, so number three, you have favorable outcome. So I always like this card, of course. It says, thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. So when you look at this, there's almost a sense of, you see the scales right there? This is light, isn't it? And there's another light on the other side. Things are balancing out. So in your life, this is, it's just saying to you that to me, it's saying to you what you put out, you get back. What you think, you, you also, it goes out there and then you get that back. So I feel that while this is saying it's a favorable outcome, it's saying that whatever you've put out there, something good, whatever you've put out there, you're gonna get back, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna all balance itself out. I also feel on another level that it's saying, be aware of what you're putting out there. Be aware of your feelings, of your, of your thoughts, of your actions, because those create a balancing effect that's here as well. So if somebody does something to you and it's it's painful, it's hurtful, you don't need to send that pain and that hurt back to them. You can send kindness and that will, even though it might not seem like it, that will balance that energy out as well. So it's almost like it, it takes away the, the energy from the situation when you put that kindness back in. I remember when I was a child, I was uh, threatened uh, by this group of girls that they were threatened, lots of people, but, um, but they were really bullying me. And my mother said to me, just tell them you won't hit them back. Tell them, you know, you, you love them. Tell them all these positive things. And that's what I did. At first I thought to myself, cracky, you know, <laughs> what's gonna happen to me? But that's what I did. I did exactly that and it totally pulled the plug out of the situation. They didn't know what to do. In fact, they were kind of scared of me because of that energy of love that was coming from me. Right in that moment, I was just, okay, so whatever you need to do, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fight that. And, and it, this has, it happens to me a few times over my over my life and recently as well the same thing you know and all you need to do is just put love out there and love will come right back to you maybe not from the people that are uh, that are affecting you at that time but it's going to come right back to you in some other form it balances out and the energy shifts Okay, I hope you enjoyed this week's angel messages. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if messages resonated for me and please share it with your friends as well. I will see you next week. Lots of angel blessings to you. Bye. You can also grab my free color kit. If you hit the subscribe button at the top, you'll get my love letter that's weekly with articles and lots of other interesting information as well. If you want to find out when my next video is uploaded, I have them twice a week, connect with me on my channel. Just subscribe to my YouTube channel. I offer services, I offer different consultations, you can find out more about those on my website sealedwithlove.com. I will see you soon, lots of colorishes blessings to you, bye!